Last time we figured out how to hit certain YouTube APIs that we can use in order to change certain part of the YouTube video such as the title, description and the thumbnail. So the next task which I assigned to myself was to find out AI models that can do just that, which is change the title and start generating image uh, for the thumbnail. In doing so, uh, one of the problems which I faced was a uh, lack of GPU, which is because I'm using a Mac um, and Mac is not known for its uh, GPU capabilities. Uh, I could not run those image generating models. So what I did was then I signed up to Google Collab in order to use their virtual machine. And in doing so, I was able to start running those um, models. Uh, let's go over that. We are inside Google Collab here. So if you do not know how Google Collab works, it's similar to how Jupyter Notebook works. And if you do not know how Jupyter Notebook works, if you know how to run Python code, it is very easy. So basically, there is a block of code right here. You hit this play button and it executes that block of code. It gives you an output right here. And it's just that. A block of code goes, you execute it, it gives you the output of that code. So what I did was, in order to use it, we have to install certain packages um, in Python itself. So the way that works in Jupyter Notebook is you hit this command, so pip install diffuses for the image generating model and the other packages as well. So now, in order to further explore this, we'll need to know how I got these image or AI models that I'm using right here. So the way I got them was to use this site called Hugging Face. So Hugging Face is a repository of all the open source AI models in the world and you can just access them free of cost right here. So if you go to this model section right here, you'll get a bunch of different categories of uh, models. So computer vision, multi-model, etc. So the two which I used was Number one was translation and the number two one was text to image. So the idea first was to use text generation. So basically the user um, gives in certain titles and after a certain period of time that title changes to something very similar but not the exact same. But then uh, once I started exploring this translation, I got another idea which is basically why not translate that entire title into various different languages so that we can start hitting different uh, um, part of the population. So let's assume that title is in English. Uh, after a period of 24 hours, that title changes to Chinese. So probably it will target a new audience, the Chinese market. I do not know how it will uh, affect the algorithm, but it was worth the try uh, because it sounded very amusing to me. So I just did that. So I ditched the old idea and just went with this translation one. Um, and in here, the model which I'm using is this one, which is Facebook, uh, MBART, etc. Uh, this is the AI model which I'm using. And the good thing about Hugging Face is every model which you're using has, um, you could actually try out how it works in here and just compute it and it'll give you the result. It'll give you a very rough understanding of how these models work. So this was number one. And the number two was text to image. So if I just scroll here and find it, which is this one. In here, I went with the one with the highest downloads, which is, uh, I think it was about 5.51 million. So if I go back to my collab here, you can see this is the model which I'm using for image generating model. So if I can just find that. Okay, so the model is this one right here. It was actually in the starting itself. I was trying to go to the bottom. So this is the model which I'm using. As you can see, um, each model has the v certain explanation how these things work, which is very interesting. Um, and then we have this piece of code, which you can um, just copy and paste it. And in order for you to customize it further, they actually explain how you could start messing around with that in order to slightly start changing the uh, effect of how the image will appear. So these are the two models which I used. And what I did was I'm using Flask here in order to change those AI models um, to REST API endpoints. So the second problem which I faced was because we are using a virtual machine, I cannot run it locally. After reading various different sources, I found out that you can actually tunnel the request to your local machine. 
through ngrock so that's what is being done here if you can see here we are installing certain dependencies for ngrock and uh here what you have to do is you have to go to ngrock and you have to sign up to their site um after signing up you'll have to generate an access token which you have to put it right here so ngrock set auth token you set it right here and then you expose the public url by printing it down in the output and you mention which port you want to connect to uh, right uh, for now for me it is 4000 and here you can see it gives me the url uh, of the site which will be if once hit it will be tunneled to localhost so this is the site so now if i go to postman and say generate titles uh, and in here you can see that it requires three payloads number one is title prompt which is basically the title of the youtube video the source language which is this piece of string right here and the target language which is chinese which is this right here and the way i got this was again from the documentation so if you go down here they say um they map every language with the code to which that language maps to so for arabic it's a r um, underscore capital a r and for solvine it's s l underscore capital s l so that's how i got these code so now let me just try translating some text so if i hit this and i execute this it should translate this into chinese i got that right here okay so it actually gave me youtube in english let me give it another word okay so it gave me this translation if i take this code go back here go to google translate put it right here let's see engineers into the future it's roughly the same again whenever you translate a language from one to another uh, there's always a slight difference which is acceptable so this was the first endpoint which i created if i go back here that is this one right here generate titles and the next one is this thumbnail one so image of artificial intelligence holding youtube i launch that let's see whether it gives a new image i could probably go in here and it would start giving me the output as well but for now we've got the response and it's like so and i realized that this is not the best interpretation of a youtube title not the best representation but it is something uh, so the idea is i'll for now i'll just go ahead with this one um so once everything is connected i'll try to explore better ai models that can give me better results but for now the results are very sub optimal if i would say but that is it for this video uh the next video will probably be on the actual connection of the backend with this ai model and let's see whether i can also attach a a cron job to it so every 24 hours it starts circulating between different uh, titles and images so one of the things which i thought was to actually write the backend in java um because it seemed amusing and it's been a while since i sat did java uh, let me know whether it's a good idea bad idea let's see um that's it for this video thanks for watching